In this video, we're going to give a brief overview of the uh, settings within the Call Control Home iOS app. Uh, so I can navigate to settings uh, just by tapping the settings menu icon here in the lower right hand corner. And you'll be taken to all settings. And you'll see here as I scroll through, there's a number of different settings uh, that we can enable and disable uh, within Call Control Home. By default, we have most of these settings enabled for you. Uh, out of the box, Call Control Home offers what we call maximum protection so that as many spam calls are blocked as possible right out of the box. But today I'm gonna to give you a brief explanation of what each of these different settings are and what they do and how they affect the behavior of the Call Control Home device. So first, uh, the unit name is pretty self-explanatory. You can come in here and give a, uh, a custom name for Call Control Home that will appear throughout the app and on the web portal. And certainly if you have multiple Call Control Home devices, uh, maybe one for the home or one for the office, you can label them accordingly here. Um, next, uh, you're gonna select, uh, you can select a device country. Um, this is really important because Call Control Home uh, has a very uh, robust database and call processing that occurs. And it's uh, really important that you have the, the country selected correctly. Um, so, so this allows you to do that. Um, and then under general call blocking, um, the, the call blocking, you can just turn call blocking on or off uh, globally. So with it off, no calls will be blocked. Everything will be allowed through. Uh, call blocking mode, uh, you can set to disconnect, which we have by default. Uh, that will basically uh, mimic kind of a pickup and hang up on the caller. So uh, they don't hear anything. The phone rings once for them, uh, not for you, and it's just connect disconnected. Um, alternatively, you can set this to ignore, and what this will do is it will silence the ringer on your phone, and it will effectively send that caller to voicemail. Um, so again, we have disconnect uh, recommended out of the box, but you can also select to uh, ignore. Um, call restrictions uh, allows you to um, just say, hey, I want only calls from my allowed list, or I want no calls at all. Uh, so this is kind of a do not disturb type mode. Uh, next, block similar numbers. Uh, this is a really cool feature. Uh, it requires you to enter the number of your landline phone that Call Control Home is connected to. And once you enter that phone number, uh, any calls that are spoofed, uh, that, are, that are similar to yours, which is a technique that spammers often use to try to get you to answer the phone, because you're like, oh, hey, I recognize that number. It's, it's similar to mine. Um, oftentimes, that is a, uh, that's something that scammers use. And if you type in your phone number, Call Control Home will intelligently block those types of calls from being able to call you. Um, next is enabling and disabling Community IQ. Community IQ is our uh, very smart automatic call blocking algorithms that run. Uh, call Control Home is connected uh, via Wi-Fi to our cloud network. And every single phone call that comes in uh, is processed and uh, is sent up to the cloud. And we have uh, a, a number of machine learning and AI algorithms that will detect whether or not that call is spam or legitimate. Um, so we definitely recommend that Enable Community IQ uh, is always turned on so you can take advantage of that automatic spam blocking. The next couple here, um, I'm just going to go through quickly, blocking empty numbers. Uh, so this is, this is, you know, you get a call that is unknown. Um, the next one is private numbers. So sometimes a caller ID comes in. Uh, as uh, as being private, and so we'll block unknown and private numbers for you. Um, block carrier mark scam is a really uh, spam. Sorry, is a really awesome feature. Um, many of the phone carriers here in the United States will uh, label a call if they think it is spam, um, but we think that's not very helpful because well, we just want it blocked. So Call Control Home has a cool setting that if uh, if Call Control Home uh, identifies a phone number uh, with the caller ID that's been marked as spam by your carrier, Call Control Home will just block that for you. So we suggest keeping that feature enabled. Um, blocking non-numeric numbers. Sometimes uh, scammers or spammers will uh, call you from, you know, a word. Uh, instead of a phone number, it's a word. Or sometimes it's a phone number that has weird characters in it. Um, we will detect that. If it's not a real phone number, we'll block it for you. Um, blocking toll-free numbers. Uh, this is something that you know you could turn on or off. Uh, again, it's enabled by default, but 
uh, that will that will uh, block any toll free number. So 888 or 800 or any of those. Um, some people want to get calls from uh, from toll free numbers. And so if you do uh, just go ahead and uh, and disable that feature. Um, blocking fake numbers, again, is similar to the uh, the one that we just talked about, non numeric numbers. Uh, but fake numbers are a number that isn't registered to any real uh, person or entity. Um, so numbers like 425-555-1212, uh, that's a fake number. That number doesn't really exist, uh, so we will block that. And last but not least, uh, automatic firmware updates. Uh, this doesn't have anything to do with call blocking settings per se, um, but it will just automatically download uh, any future releases to firmware updates that we do. And again, we suggest that you keep that enabled. So this is just a brief overview of the uh, settings within the call control home iOS app. Thanks for watching.